Rob, there's been Hydrama in Korea, where two parts of the Samsung Group are trying to merge. The Chiel, which is uh, one of the central holding companies, is trying to buy Samsung, C and T, another part, uh, against the against the wishes of a big American activist fund. Uh, what's the latest news on this? Well, the news is that the merger will go through. So they had a shareholder vote uh, today in Korea. And the shareholders of the Target, Samsung CNT, agreed to be bought by Chiel Industries, the parent. Now, both of these are part of the larger Samsung group. And I won't try to uh, tell you the structure of that group because it's an I'm impossible spaghetti. Uh, mm. <laughs> but um, the salient feature here is that Chiel Industries is the key vehicle through which the Lee family, with a founding family of the group, exerts a lot of its control within the context of this big complicated group. They have their largest shareholding in this group and the this merger helps them consolidate control over the whole group further. So how about for shareholders in Samsung CNT? Were they right to, to sell their shares to Chiel or are they right to sort of be part of this 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 Chiel through which the Lee family controls a lot of the company? Well there's two ways to look at it. The first the, is the way Lex might normally look at a deal, which is that any time there is an all-share deal, uh, like this one was, there should be a certain relationship between the price given to the target and the relative profitability of the two companies. That was absolutely not the case here. There was no relationship between the price paid to the target and the relative profitability of the two. So it's a lousy deal. A lousy deal. The, the target had, you know, many times the profits of the buyer. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was paid a fraction of that, that value. Now, Korean... What other ways to look at this? Deal? Well, <laughs> well, Korean law actually specifies that any time a merger is done, the merger ratio has to reflect the market valuation of the two companies rather than their underlying fundamentals. And in, that ca in this case, that happened because Chiel Industries shares are very highly valued by the market and Samsung CNT's shares are very lowly valued, if that's a word, by the market. Now why is that? Part of the reason for that is that shareholders know that the, the Lee family has its bets on Chiel Industries and so they're saying let's get next to the family. So reasons to accept perhaps what looks like on the face of it like a lousy deal, but what does all of this rigmarole tell us about investing in Korea? What it tells us is that Korea is still a market where when push comes to shove, price does not track value. And it is instead a market set up largely to protect certain vested interests. That is why the Korean market trades at a discount value relative to other global markets. That system is still very much in place. We have proof today that it is not changing. Investor, beware. Rob, thanks very much.